Hello and welcome to today's video. And today we are back at Alton Towers for the first vlog of the season. Um, obviously, I know what you're thinking, how come I didn't do a vlog on opening day? Um, and the reason I did that is because the, the main sort of filming I did on opening day was for the rebirth of Nemesis finale. Um, I didn't get much chance to actually do like a proper vlog on opening day. Um, however, obviously, we've come back a few weeks later and we're now doing a proper vlog at Alton Towers. And obviously, we'll be getting back on the amazing vibes as well as seeing what changes they've made over the close season and to know that they've invested um, multi-millions of pounds into basically refurbishing all different attractions, adding new stuff, new technology, basically making loads of improvements around the park. Um, so we're going to have a look at them today and obviously, like I said before, get on some amazing rides. So obviously join me today here at Alton Towers for the vlog of April 2024 and obviously, obviously it's, it's quite, it's a no-brainer We'll be heading to the Green Valley today to check that out. Um, so that'll be absolutely amazing. So obviously we've literally we've made our way around towards Wicker Man. Um, and obviously like I said earlier at the start, the, the park have invested in lots of improvements around the park. Um, and obviously Wicker Man is no exception. Because at long last, since 2022 I think, they've actually brought back the flames on Wicker Man. It was really amazing that we finally get the flames back on this amazing attraction because it's, it's what it made it's what made this ride what it is because it was the first wooden coaster on the planet to fuse wood with fire and um, that's what that was probably like the main sort of selling point of the ride and um, so i'm glad they brought that back um, and i've also added some other details around as well they've added like a canopy over the ride access queue um because obviously the weather here is a bit funny with like the rain so obviously it's good shelter for when it's like raining um, I'm not sure if the ride's open yet because the chain lift isn't even moving or anything. Um, but apparently it's closed at the moment. But hopefully it should be open in a few minutes. Um, but until then, we're going to wait for Wicker Man to open. Just rode Wicker Man for the first time this season, um, and I absolutely love that ride so much. It's such an amazing ride. Um, we get lots of so much airtime. It's a very forceful wooden roller coaster as well. Um, and obviously, like I said before, they've obviously made improvements around the rides. They've added the flames back on Wicker Man structure. Um, they've added the canopy over the queue line, um, to obviously against the poor weather. Um, and they've obviously improved the ride experience overall and it's uh, been absolutely amazing to get back on it because like I said, we didn't get a chance to go on it on opening day because the queue for it was horrendous obviously the queue for pretty much everything on opening day was horrendous but obviously with Wicker Man it was like just absolutely shocking um, but we managed to get on it today and it was absolutely amazing, well worth it um, so now we're heading round towards Katanga Canyon um, and hopefully we'll get on what do we mind train? I don't know if we'll get on Rapids because it's way too cold for that. I don't even know if it's open to be honest. It was like this when I came on opening day, it wasn't open. Um, but I think, I don't know if it has reopened yet, but we'll hopefully get on Vernon Mine Train and also after that we'll do personal minor things like that. So we'll see when we do that. Here we go. 
So we're just ridden the runaway mine train just up there. Um, great little family coaster. And obviously it's, it's literally obligatory that we ride this every time we go to Horton Towers. Because it's so iconic. Um, nice little ride. Obviously, unique thing about it, unlike other rides at Horton Towers, obviously it has two laps on the ride, so it goes around the track twice. Um, it's got some pretty good theming on there. Apart from in obviously the tunnel near to the end of the ride, which is literally just a concrete tunnel, but you know, it's always been like that. Um, but obviously, the fact that it goes next to Rapids as well. I know the Rapids ain't open today, but obviously it has that interactive element with the Rapids, which is really cool. Um, and it was a good little ride. So now we are coming to experience the new for 2023 dark rides, Curse Holland Manor. Um, and I'll see you when we've come off of it. So the brand new arcade training facility is actually opened here in Forbidden Valley and it's exactly what they say it is, it's literally an arcade. But what I don't get is they could have either replaced it with something else, like you know, obviously arcades, they're not like, they're not uncommon at theme parks, but you know like, they're kind of like outdated in the theme park industry. Um, so they could have used replaced places with like another attraction or um, something like that, but either way they've just made it an arcade. But I've heard lots of theories going around saying that this arcade is actually a temporary attraction and then they'll, they'll, they'll replace it with something much bigger and more, you know, like an actual attraction, but like, if they were doing that, then why would they just build it as an arcade first and then replace it with something else? Why don't we just build it as something else from the ground up? I don't know, but either way, it's there and it's something else to do here in Forbidden Valley. Um, but obviously, Curse Old Manor was broken down, which meant the only place left to go was Forbidden Valley, which means obviously we're going to get a ride on Nemesis Reborn. So I will see you when we've gone on that. I ride every single time. But one thing I've noticed, um, I've heard a lot of people saying it, um, but I didn't notice it when I went on it on opening day, but I've just noticed it when we rode it just then, um, is that the rattle on the ride. Um, now, obviously, like I said, that wasn't noticeable when I went on it on opening day, because I rode it twice on opening day. Once on the front, and the second time was like somewhere in the middle. Um, but we rode on the, towards the back row this time, and you could definitely notice the rattle. And I'm not sure where that rattle's come from, considering it weren't even there when it was open before this refurbishment um, but I think they definitely need to get that sort of rattle sorted out. Other than that, great ride, loved it. Um, it was absolutely brilliant. Another thing that's improved since we were here last time on opening day is that there's not a queue for Supply Store Bunker 94. Like literally when we were here last time there was like an hour queue stretching back all the way towards Blade and it was absolutely mental. Um, but yeah, I don't think I really properly filmed in this shop. It's a really, it's an amazing shop, it honestly is. It's got some really cool merchandise too as well. Some excellent theming as well. Which, wow, you've also got up here, sorry, the story of Nemesis. And yeah, this as well, these, these bolts are from the original ride, but they're selling them for like 100 quid. And for a double bottle, it's 150 quid, which is absolutely insane price. Um, they've also got some vintage Nemesis merchandise as well. Um, if I can find any. Yeah, here we go. Got some Nemesis 1994 merch with the original logo. Um, obviously got all Nemesis Reborn stuff with the veins on it. They've got some Phalanx merchandise, which just looks excellent. I've also some Nemesis Subterra merchandise, which looks really cool. I don't think this, this sort of Nemesis Subterra merchandise before, but it looks excellent. Obviously, None of it's cheap, it's all very expensive, but it's all really cool merchandise. It's got some 
some terra magnets as well. You've got some new umbrellas, um, which is very unique. Um, and also, I don't know if they've got them in here, but they've also got some Nemesis Reborn resins, which um, obviously look based on the creature. They look like that as well, which is absolutely insane. It's also a huge resin as well. Um, and it's a very detailed one as well. A lot They've released a whole bunch of new resins this year on Tiles, and they all look really detailed and really well done. Very high quality resins. So if I see any, I'll check them out. Um, but yeah, all the merch in here is absolutely gorgeous. Um, and I'm really well done with how they've done the merch this year. So yeah, I touched a little bit upon this on the rebirth of Nemesis finale, but obviously that is where Funk and Fly used to be. Um, and obviously this whole area here is going to be where Project Ocean is going to be. Now obviously that area sort of is on the edge of the most part of Forbidden Valley, which has been around the Phalanx and Nemesis, and then the part that just turns into Galactica, which sort of just, obviously Galactica, with everything else in this area having a coherent theme around the Phalanx and Nemesis, Galactica's the only one that doesn't really fit in with the land. So there's rumours going about that when Project Ocean is built, that's actually going to be sort of on the border of the main part of Forbidden Valley, which is all, all these attractions, and it's going to split off Galactica into its own little area. Um, personally, I hope that's not the case. I hope they just re it to fit with the rest of Forbidden Valley. It will just be a lot easier, and it will make a lot more sense as well um, to re Galactica to fit with the rest of Forbidden Valley. Because um, that would be awesome. You know, like, they could obviously theme it to like, some kind of phalanx, um, I don't know, phalanx training like flight thing or like a drone attack on Nemesis, something like that. That's the main theory that's been going around. Um, and yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens with Galactica. They haven't said, Alden Towers haven't said anything yet, but something will happen for sure. So we've just ridden 13 and Rita, and it went into David Williams' World Tops to buy Gangster Granny and the World Carousel. And they were all really good bikes, um, especially obviously the stuff in Dark Forest with Lights and Rita and 13. Um, obviously those two rides, they're really good rides, but like, obviously, obviously they've not got a lot of theming, but like neither of them have. I think the most themed attraction out of the two is 13, mainly because of all like the woodland area they in. But one thing that's always confused me about 13, right? I know it's supposed to have like a haunted sort of forest theme and but like what's with the scaffolding around the station? And I don't think it's and I know it's not meant to be a construction scaffolding, that's literally part of the theming. So what is it with the scaffolding? I have no idea. If anyone knows what the scaffolding is for is on around 13 station then let me know. Um but obviously they were really good rides and now we are heading towards X Sector, towards the Smile and Oblivion, and obviously, like I mentioned earlier, all the major sort of it's kind of like their own little sparkle project that they had, and obviously part of the investment is going into improvements around X Sector. So when we go around there, I'll show you what's happened down there.
So we've just ridden Smile Around Oblivion and obviously those were fantastic <laughs> attractions. Brilliant, some of the best in park, especially the Smiler, which in my opinion, best roller coaster on the planet. Um, but obviously around the whole of Exeter they've made, they've invested quite a lot in um, basically fixing a lot of the, like, the theming and cleaning everything. Um, and the whole area looks so much fresher. There. I think they've given the Smiler a jet wash in parts of it anyway. And it looks, and like I said, in parts of it, it looks actually a lot fresher and, um, than it did last season. Um, Oblivion, they've they've done some like they've improved like the exterior of the arcade, so they're like they've added new like sort of vinyls to it. It looks really nice, and they painted the tunnel for Oblivion as well to orange fit with the right color scheme. Well, not the right color scheme, the right logo, obviously. And and obviously the whole area looks so much nicer. The only, thought, the only um, problem is the places where mixed it or spin jam and twistatron were last season. The whole area is just fenced off. I get there's nothing there at the moment, but like, and they've just made that like a scene area temporarily while they plan what rides they might want to put there in the near future. I don't know, but um, that area is just blocked off at the moment. So, as you can, um, at the moment, we are actually heading towards Spinball Wizard to go right for a ride on that. And we'll see when we come off Spinball Wizard. So we were in, about to go on to Spinball Wizard, we're in the queue for it, um, but the ride has just stopped out of nowhere. We think it's like, I don't know if it's like broken down or something, because they're, they're evacuating people off the ride um, as we speak. So we might not get on Spinball Wizard at the moment, but um, we'll wait and see. But um, as soon as they're evacuating people, oh wait, no, it's, we think it might start again within a few minutes, we'll, we'll give it a moment to start again. The, um, but we know we can see on all the ride vehicles are stopped on the brakes. Um, there's the one that literally stops on the mid course brake just before. Oh, it's going again. Hang on, I'll show you. There we go, watch. There we go. Just missed it. We just stopped right there. But now it's started again. See, that's strange. It just stops randomly out of nowhere. But um, thankfully, it's back up again, and we'll see you when we have come off the ride. just ridden Spinball Wizard and then after obviously Marauders Mayhem and obviously Spinball Wizard really good rides nice little family coaster obviously it's unique in Alton Towers because it's the only spinning roller coaster at Alton Towers so that, that adds like a whole other like aspect of the ride which makes it really cool um, and obviously like many of the other parts of Alton Towers it's had like a little sparkle project so it's not like a major thing but like the parts of the ride or most of the rides Spinball Wizard, Spinball Wizard has had a jet wash, so it actually looks a lot brighter than it did last season. So that was really nice. But I've also noticed they started doing work on the on the side of the maintenance shed next to the base of the lift hill. Because like normally, where that vinyl would be, would say like playing ball, ball in place spin, whatever it said. That's now gone. It's covered up in scaffolding. So what they're going to do with that, I have no idea. Replacing it with like a new sort of like vinyl. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. Um, but that looks like it's an ongoing project. Um, and we'll see what happens with it. But now we're actually heading up towards Curse Old Man to see if it's reopened. Because when we went down there earlier, it, it was closed. So we'll see if it's reopened, and if it has, we'll go on it. So we're just walking past on the rapids, and while it doesn't look like it's open, it is in fact testing. We have seen, like, obviously the rapids boats 
um, obviously a long, there we go, there's another one right there, um, and the water falls back on, it does look like it's testing, but it's not open yet, um, now when I said earlier that it hasn't been open all season, it has actually been open, but it hasn't been open, like, like it, within sort of the last sort of week or so, we don't know why, I think it must have been like technical issues, um, but the vine's testing at the moment, so that's a sign that it won't be open today, but it'll probably be open in a couple of days or so. I'm not sure, we'll have to wait and see. Um, so I'll see you over at Kirsten, whether that's open or not. So we were looking to see if Curse was open, but I think it's not open at the moment, so I think it's probably down for the rest of the day. Um, so we managed to get on Nemesis Subterra, and that was an excellent ride. Although, the thing I noticed towards the very end of the ride, spoilers if you haven't been on Nemesis Subterra, um, but what I noticed is that when you're in the lift, um, and the Nemesis creature starts attacking, it normally the lift would start, start like shaking up and down. Not like actually shaking up and down, but it would sort of like simulate the actual shaking feeling. This time it didn't do that. It just did like, obviously the lights went out and the weird smoke effects and the air cannons. Um, so whether the shaking feature, whatever it's called, is broken at the moment, whether they'll fix it, I don't know. Um, other than that, great ride. Oh, it's a really good ride. Um, nice little addition to Forbidden Valley. Because obviously, um, especially since when it's opened last season, when Nemesis was closed, they needed like sort of like a filler attraction to fill in the gap Nemesis was occupying. So that's a great little ride I, to get more of the backstory of Nemesis. Um, it was a great ride, absolutely amazing. And another thing I've noticed about new additions towards Nemesis Reborn, they've actually added new tentacles around the eye. Um, you can just see them there. I'm not really like really too keen on these new tentacles. They kind of look like pipe. They've just stuck pipe cleaners around the eye. Um, even though like the eye itself was amazing at first, and obviously it still is, um, but it didn't really need to add those new tentacles. Especially considering the literally just looked like it stuck a few pipe cleaners on the side of it. But oh well, at least it's more theme, I guess. But the ride itself is still absolutely incredible, and it's a beautiful ride. And I love what they've done with all the refurbishment of it. Um, I, I'm so glad to have Nemesis back. It's absolutely amazing. Um, yes, yeah, so we've actually decided, it's obviously, it's getting quite late in the day and it's starting to rain. Um, obviously, we've decided to finish the day here at Alton Towers. It's been an absolutely brilliant day. Um, Obviously, there were a couple of eyes we didn't manage to get on, like things like Curse Alt and Mana Clubs, that was, that was down, and, but we managed to get on quite a lot of the eyes we did want to, including, obviously, Nemesis Reborn, which is still an absolutely fantastic ride, I love it to bits. Uh, managed to get on the Smiler as well, which is my favourite ride in the world, um, and it was absolutely brilliant, I was, um, so obviously it's been an absolutely amazing day here at Alton Tales, we'll be back here probably in a few weeks, in around May, um, so it's going to be absolutely incredible, so I want to thank you all very much for watching this video. And if you enjoyed it, then please make sure to like and subscribe and come out where we like to see the next video. Goodbye.